All right. Um, so let's uh, let's get started on a ROM hack that is kind of old that I only just learned about. Um, so I literally found out about this from a tweet from uh, Hard Drive, the basically the Onion, but for nerdy shit. Um, on their Twitter, like one of the guys was streaming it, which is like very rare. They like very rarely uh, do stuff outside of their um, their normally scheduled uh, satire. But uh, yeah, so I found this game. Uh, this is uh, fairly updated. The screen is stretched a little bit because uh, I'm recording this and not streaming it, so I didn't feel like uh, I didn't feel like. Uh, Fixing it or editing in post. This is Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Uh, if you Google this, you can find all the details. A better streamer would link um, this stuff. <laughs> I'm looking at the Pokemon Fusion stuff. Uh, a better a better streamer would link this in like the description or something. I'm not gonna. I don't. I don't care. Um, I'm currently on hiatus. I haven't really been recording a lot um, because I have a lot of work shit going on. But, uh, wow, that is, that is a fucking spray. Uh, this is an exception, because, uh, I found it looked cool and I wanted to record it, so. Be happy you're getting this. You could have been getting nothing. Um, but yeah. So, I, the game is based on, it's, so this is a, it's not a ROM. It's its own game. Um, and it's based on Black and White 2. The, the mechanic where you could fuse Kyurem with, uh, Ugh, I hate that. Uh, with, uh, Z uh, what, what's his name? Zekrom and Reshiram. Oh, that's cute. Um, so this has all the Pokemon. It, it's based in that engine, but the story, as far as I can tell, is based on Kanto. That's horrific. Um, and it's, uh, I'm doing a bad job explaining this. It's midnight here, and I've had a long day, so bear with me. But this is, it's based on Kanto. Uh, on the black and white 2 engine for the most part, there's a lot of custom stuff. Um, if you may notice the music sounds slightly off, I think all the music is remixed too. Uh, there's, so you can use any Pokemon with any Pokemon. I think there's like 365 Pokemon in the game. Uh, they have all of Gen 1 and 2 and they have various Pokemon from Gen um, 3 to 6. I don't know which ones they have. Um, I have it, I've been trying to like not to look into it too much. Uh, so I've gone a little bit into the game. First of all, I have to play on keyboard, which is, this is genuinely one of the first games I've played on keyboard when I'm recording, so I apologize in advance. Um, <laughs> it's gross. Give me a controller. Um, so I've, I've started already. I got about 20 minutes in. Um, the reason I did this is that the tutorial is mostly the same as a regular Pokemon tutorial. Um, you know. Oh, man, uh, you know, pick your Pokemon, go, oh, it's dangerous, don't go in this grass, pick your Pokemon, oh, can you pick me up a parcel, um, okay, thanks, here's some Pokeballs, go catch your Pokemon. Up until that point, uh, everything is mostly the same, including the, uh, the wild Pokemon, so I have a, um, I have, forgive me, it doesn't even let you use my mouse, which, like, would make it better. We have a Charmander, because obviously, um, and I meant to write Carlos. I think I can actually edit this. Um, so, uh, I have a level 9 Charmander and a level 5 uh, Pidgey. So the thing is, they don't let you... Or you can... I could fuse them now if I wanted to. But uh, apparently when you defuse them after, you lose some XP. So I'm like, I'm not going to waste it on like, you know... Uh, Charmander and Pidgey. That seems silly. Uh, there's a lot about this game I don't know, because I'm purposely trying to go into it kind of blind. It's not even WASD. It's literally the arrow keys. Ugh! What does W do? Or what does S do? I feel like I know what, I feel, what the S key did, but I can't remember now. Uh, control activates speed up mode, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm looking at it, and like it is a little bit stretched out, and I'm not a huge fan of that, but I also don't care. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, so we have our first two Pokemon. I could catch, like, uh, a Rattata if I wanted to, but I don't really want to. This is different. Oh, boy. Potion. So fucking excited. Uh, there's a fake pseudo widow here. Uh, I'm also at the mode where, um, I'm trying to, like, talk to everyone because this is, a. Uh, 
a fan-made game, meaning that, uh, meaning that, you know, they might have new dialogue and stuff like that. It's not, like, adult or anything, it's just, it's still, like, kind of aimed at, like, the normal Pokemon audience, but the writing's a little bit cleaner. Check this out, I caught these two Pokemon and fused them together using DNA splicers. Oh, the only other thing that changed in, like, the tutorial section is that, um, I took Charmander, and then, uh, Blue took, uh, Bulbasaur and Squirtle and instantly fused them, and so that was the first battle, and it was kind of tough, so. Let's see. Youngster Pat would like the battle. Speargy. <laughs> it just looks like a really old Pidgey. Okay. Um, so the cool thing here is it tells you... Um, why would you bother fusing these two, by the way? Uh, it tells you in the moves that if they're special or physical and whatnot. Alright. Okay. I wonder if they combine the two cries. I don't know actually know how it works. I lost, and I fell off the spot where the Pokemon battle? Talk to trainers after battling them. They'll uh, often offer to have a rematch or to trade you some of their Pokemon. Others will give you freebies like this. Obtain a Pokeball. Talk to... Uh, cool. Thanks, man. So this is slightly different um, than the normal Route 22. I, I know the original gen with, like, Let's Go, Fire Red, Leaf Green. What the fuck is happening here? Am I trapped? Why can't I move? <laughs> um. Hello? Huh. Alright. Not a good sign when it falls down that quickly or that slowly. Oh, I wonder if speed up didn't work. Oh, yeah. What the fuck happened here? Ugh. Okay. But yeah, I know enough about Route 22 to know that this is not normal. Um, so all the Pokemon that we encounter will still be normal. Like, they'll still, uh... We're not gonna find, uh... Special fusions in the wild, to my knowledge. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but I do want to still try and catch every Pokemon at least once. Alright, well. Shit. Um, alright, I actually don't want to fight you. I'm kind of, kind of jacked up right now. I guess I could use one of these berries to heal myself. But yeah, so they combine a lot of the, uh, a lot of mechanics from the other Pokemon games. Um, you're gonna hear me tappy tap a lot, because I'm not used to this. My keyboard's not that quiet. It's not, like, super loud, but it's not that quiet. A splice that fuses the DNA of any two Pokemon into a single entirely new Pokemon. I think they cost 500 each, which is kind of a lot, um... For that kind of thing. Uh, I could have used Nornberry, but I'm lazy. Um, yeah. Hey, are you trying to are you going to the Pokemon League? I mean, no. Mustafa, is that what his name was? That's awesome. Um, but yeah. So far it's just normal Pokemon Red. I'm glad I skipped the first 20 minutes though. It definitely felt where the oh, I hate when they prompt me for that. Rat <laughs> It's rat pie. So this is where I'm a little confused. I don't know how type types change with this. So uh, rat Rattata is normally normal, and then Caterpie would be bug type, which should mean that it's a normal bug type, which means that Ember should be super effective. Okay, so it does work like that. God, there's gonna be some busted combinations. There has to be. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna find them, but that's awesome. Hey Nick, you know the Pokemon League? Forget about it, you probably don't have any badges, the guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Alright, guys, do we want to relax? I'm just trying to look for Pokemon. Rival Blue, I didn't change his name by the way. Uh, you can. Uh, I think you can, if you talk to his mom back in uh, Pallet Town, if you say, uh, what's that Nick, she'll say something like, what's that nickname uh, you're always... You're always calling my son, and then you can tell them, and like, oh, that's so funny. So it's cool that it gives you the option to change that. What I always like about the Pokemon hacks is that they offer quality of life changes that... Ah, uh, oh, fuck, here he comes. Squirtzor! <laughs> so if, uh, if you don't know, this is based off of that, uh, the Pokemon, uh, Fuser. It's like a website that, like, will randomly combine the two sprites uh, from like two different Pokemon and make like a monstrosity. Uh, but 
a lot of the sprites in this, there's 175,000 possible ones, so they use the sprite generator. But I think there's also a lot of custom sprites as well. Like, this is a custom sprite. This isn't like a randomly generated one. Um, which is cool. And a lot of the ones that they saw, showed on the, uh, on the title screen were also, uh, custom. I don't know what to do here. He's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> it should do neutral damage, right? Yeah, okay. Um, my... So my, um... My Charmander is a timid type, so his speed is up, but his, uh... Shit, I'm gonna get my... I'm gonna get in trouble here. His speed is up, but his... Ooh, Leech Seed, don't kill me. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, his speed is up, but his um, uh, attack is down. Okay, I'm in trouble here. God, they're smart, too. All right, hopefully I can manage this kill with Pidgey. I'm not doing a Nuzlocke or anything like that. You can do Randomizer on this. Oh, hell yeah, that crit mattered. Um, but I wanted to do the normal mode before I did the Randomizer. Carlos coming in clutch. Beginner's luck. That uh, that first fight against him was actually really tough. I not only had to get critical, um... Oh, neat. Thanks, man. I kind of like that they kept, uh... They kept his, like, rivalry, um, kind of spirit alive, but also, uh, still gives you shit, so it's like a combination of, um... The newer version of him in uh, Let's Go, or his Lagus, is, I should say, his uh, his replacement, because Blue is still in Let's Go. Um, but yeah, it's cool so far. Uh, I should try and catch some more Pokemon, because I'm gonna need them. I, I'll combine whatever Pokemon aren't my start. I don't know what I want to combine Charmander with yet. It's not permanent, but I don't like the idea of losing XP. I guess if I don't go down in levels, it's not that bad. Uh, but still. Let's uh let's head to the bowl Pokemart. I don't like the Pokemon or Pokemarts and um uh Pokemon centers are separate again. That's like my favorite upgrade that Pokemon has done over time. Yeah, so five hundred. What happens when I buy ten of these? Do you give me a premier ball? Yeah. Alright. Cool. That's all I was really curious about. Interesting. Gem with Essence of Land. When it held, it strengthens power of ground type move only once. And heal balls. I don't really care about heal balls. I don't even think they look that good. Alright, um... So I think we should be able to catch Mankey over here, right? I think Nidoran can spawn here as well. I'd love to catch Nidoran. Um, I don't know if Shinies are in this game. I don't think they are. I say that because of my Let's Go file. I walked this path. I don't know. 400 fucking times until I caught um, a shiny Nidoran male. Alright, I'm gonna catch you this time. Perfect. So I don't know how fusion works if, uh, um, if you, if it's like significantly lower level. Like, I, does it combine the levels? I, I did do some brief research. They can still evolve while they're combined. Um, ooh, ooh, I don't like that. Awesome. And you can see <laughs> the the pit of. That pit of is um uh is in my background constantly. Um I should I should have at least seen what that was gonna turn into. So the game auto saves, thank god. Um I don't know why it doesn't auto save after my Pokemon get healed. But uh, it does auto save. I have it set to auto save every time I catch a Pokemon, every time I heal, and um, I think I have it set for every time I, I heal. Oh, what was the button for auto run? I think that's what S does. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have it set to auto save every time I heal, every time I catch a Pokemon, and every fifteen hundred steps. Uh, I don't remember what I have beyond that though. I think there's there's one more condition that it auto saves, and I can't remember what it is. Level two, get that shit out of here. Um, I don't, I do remember when I did my Nuzlocke here, um, in a long, long time ago. I kept trying to catch a, I think I did catch a Mankey here. I've done a couple Nuzlocks, so I can't really remember. I've never, never successfully completed one, but I can never remember it. I don't know why the the female symbol looks so wonky up top. At first, I thought it was like like that on purpose, but I don't think it is. Uh, I could catch this one, I guess. 
I wonder what's gonna happen if I try to catch a Rattata again and just crash the game. Alright. I should be having a... I should have Pidgey out front, I think. If you get another Rattata, I'll switch out to a Pidgey. Ooh, a Spearow. Maybe I'll be like that asshole and combine a, a Spearow to Pidgey for no fucking reason. Um, I do want it, though. Um, I don't know how they handle cries in this. I think I mentioned that earlier. I'm very curious about it, though. I'm really glad I skipped the tutorial because I'm still doing, like, normal tutorial bullshit. Ah, oh, fuck off. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should just continue on to Viridian Forest. I want a Mankey or... Oh, I forgot to buy Pokeballs. Uh, I want a Mankey or I want uh, a Nidoran. That'd be really nice, but... I think I can get. I'm used to Pokemon Go, where uh, after the third, um, the third shake, it's always like guaranteed. No. Alright, well, it didn't crash. That's a good start. I wonder if I should. Uh, I was worried that it was control the like turbo mode that did it, so I'm, I'm a little hesitant to turn it back on. It's very weird. Why would it not do it after the healing is done? All right, whatever. Uh, we're gonna buy more Pokeballs, and then I'm just gonna move forward. We've uh, we spent enough time here. So I think you can use Enter or the Space Ball or Space Ball Space Bar to uh, do that. And then Escape is brings up the menu and goes backwards. Uh, let's do let's do this. I don't like using a keyboard. It feels very unnatural to me. I'm a controller boy. Man, did you get Grandpa to go home? He's doing much better now. Oh, is this motherfucker going to try and teach me how to catch Pokemon? I will throw him out a window. Dad is the one who came up with Nidoran's nickname. The nickname would be better, but it grew on me. Meteran. <laughs> it's funny. Um, Pumpkin's nickname is fun, but clever nicknames can be challenging. Alright, this one doesn't have a nickname. I am glad that they showed me the nickname that are in. That's funny. Alright, moving on. Route 2. Supposedly every Pokemon is able, available to catch here. And Pokemon that are normally, like, evolution-bound. So stuff like, um, Alakazam... Or, uh, trade-bound. So, like, Alakazam, Steelix, and stuff like that. Um, so I think you can get them all in-game. There's either evolution items or they just level up a level 40. Which, again, one of my favorite hacks for uh, these games is Pokemon can just level up naturally. Uh, you know what I'll give credit to? I'll give credit to Sword and Shield. The fact that you can catch like fully evolved Pokemon in that game without having to trade is pretty great. Or pretty, uh, I want to say rad and great. I said grad. Um, but yeah. I, uh, that's one of my favorite uh, quality life changes. Now if only Sword and Shield could not look like shit, uh, it'd be a great game. It just doesn't run very well. The design is there. Alright, level 4. I think we can catch this one. Okay. Well, shit. Yes! I guess I should show my, uh, do my first fusion here. Uh, even though I don't want to mix or tattoo with anything. Uh, I don't want any of these Pokemon, to be honest. <laughs> I just don't want them. I don't, except for Rex. I don't want to use any of them. Uh, let's... What's the... I guess... Let's have to use Bag. DNA Splicer. Use... Spiro And Rattata. Sure, man. Here we go. Pokemon are being fused. <laughs> what have I done? All right. Rat Rose data has been out of the Pokedex. Oh, yeah. They each have a... Um, this is the insane part. Every fusion has its own Pokedex entry. That's fucking insane to me. Um, all right. Uh, I'll read the ones for fused Pokemon, but not for normal ones. Weight, 6.2 pounds. Height, 1. Normal and flying. Tiny mouse Pokemon. A Ratro is cautious in the extreme. If it's high, keening cry is heard echoing all around. It is a sign they are warning each other of danger. Each other? There's more of them? 
Oh, you choose the abilities. Oh, that's cool. And it says Spiro. What is happening here? Oh, is its name still Spiro? That's so weird. Um, I prefer Tail Whip to Growl. Oh, I hate it. I hate the sprites. Oh, they're just like cut in half. <laughs> that's so icky. All right. I do wish you could splice. Uh, keep, just keep splicing, but that's cool. Um, let's use Rat Row for a little bit. Supposedly they are much stronger. I don't know if like it's just stat wise or if they're also just like. Uh, or I'm sorry. I don't know if it's just like because they can learn more moves and have better typing and stuff like that, or if their stats are actually better. Um, let's see. Rash nature. I don't know what rash means. Special attack up. Special defense down. Speed and attack are pretty good. That's so it's meh. Um, cool. I guess. Probably still gonna use Charmander. Um, can I get just like a... Oh, you know what? There was, um... There was someone else... There was someone in one of the... I think it was in the Pokemon Center. Who offered to trade a Spearow for a Bellsprout. That's one thing I think they, um... Uh, they've added a bunch, is that there's a bunch of people willing to just, like, trade Pokemon. Which is something I always felt the original Pokemon was missing. Like, yes, they want you, they encourage you to trade in real life, that's the whole point. But there was no, like, there's only, like, what, like, four NPCs in each Pokemon game you can trade. So that's pretty rad. I should, um, maybe I should unfuse them and, uh, trade for a Bellsprout. Since I don't really care about Spearow or, uh... No, Rat Row's our first one. We gotta we gotta stick with Rat Row for now. Although I do want to catch a spear. Ah, oh, fuck me. All right, I won't. I'll I'll cut this part. Ooh, maybe I won't cut it. We got a Mankey. Okay, okay. All right, let me do this. Don't get a crit. I get so much more rationally angry. There, if a Pokemon breaks free immediately or on the last try, I get irrationally angry. If it's like one shake or two shakes, I'm like, ah, whatever. Motherfucker! <laughs> they just did so much worse. Uh, alright. Last HP, here we go. I'm running out of money. I can't buy more Pokeballs, stop it! <laughs> you fucking bastard. Get in the fucking ball. I'm gonna lose my shit. That's four times in a row. Motherfuckers make me waste all these Pokeballs. <sighs> Alright, just for you, you fucking prima donna. Take this Premier Ball. Waste my Premier Ball. Is this glitched? Excuse me? Can I... Can I get a mod, please? Why is my... Why are... is he just not getting caught? Maybe it was speed up. Let's turn it off. Oh my god, thank you. Can I not turn it back on now? Classic. Pig monkey Pokemon. Starts shaking in uh, its nasal breathing turns rough. It's a sure sign of anger, however, since this happens instantly, there's no time to flee. How do I? It says one of two. Alright, Rad. Um, okay, so we got that. Let's go to a Pokemon Center. Uh, I still need to catch a Spearow, so I'm gonna go quiet again. Oh! Oh! Alright, here we go. Uh, let's see. I think I'm probably gonna get killed. Or at least Carlos will. But, I can get some, 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 uh, some licks in. We'll probably have Rat Row come in here. I've also decided that I, I no longer care about Rat Row. I just, I just don't care anymore. If he, uh... Since I can't find another Spiro, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna deal with it, and we're just gonna separate them. Uh, it'll be a good tutorial on how separation works. It is a waste of 500 uh, money or whatever, but gotta do what you gotta do. Now that I'm getting a, I'm getting a team together. It's highly toxic barbs. I thought to have developed this protection with a small mighty Pokemon. I'm enraged, it released a horrible toxin from its, from its what? From its what? No. All right. I renounce Rat Row. Uh, we're gonna heal again, and then I'm gonna 
trade. And then we're going to move on because we've been here too long. I can acknowledge I've been here too long, but also, like, the possibilities are endless. Or, not endless, but 175,000. I didn't want to heal again! No! Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Pokemon! Let's see. Ratro. How do I... How do you... How do you separate them? Uh, I actually have the FAQ up. Sap? It's not here? Are you kidding me? Game mechanics. Uh, everything you need to know about is compiled in Fusion. Let's see. In Ooh, what's this? There's DNA splicers. Um, basic fusing and unfusing item can be purchased. Uh, one's levels are average when fusing. A fusion loses 25% of its experience when unfused using DNA splicers. Do I have to use another one to unfuse them? That's gross. There's super splicers, an improved version. Um, once you've obtained four badges. The highest Pokemon's level is capped. You get to select which Pokemon's nature to keep. Fusion loses 10% of the experience when it's unfused. Infinite Splicers. The ultimate version of DNA Splicer obtained by beating the robot in Cinemar Laboratory. Fusion uh, functions exactly like DNA Splicers, but isn't consumed on use. Okay, so it's like uh, the basic DNA one, but it's infinite. DNA Reversers. An item that uh, inverts an existing fusion can be purchased from Silco after clearing that part of the story or from any part Pokemon after... Eight badges. Using a Pokemon inverse the fusion, the body becomes the head, and the head becomes the body. Interesting. Typing. Uh, generally, a fused Pokemon will have its head primary type, and the body is secondary type. If the body's Pokemon doesn't have a secondary type, its primary type will be used instead. Uh, exception, the body will provide its primary type instead of the secondary. The head is already providing an element. A Grimer Oddish, for example, is Poison Grass. Uh, Oddish normally provides poison as a body. But Grimer already provides poison, so to avoid redundancy, Oddish instead provides its primary type grass. Okay. Some Pokemon have other primary and secondary types swapped. Magnemite and Magneton are steel and electric. Not uh, not too worried about it, to be honest. Uh, okay. That's enough reading. It seems like I need to use it again. Which I didn't want to do. <laughs> I just went to go pick up my controller for a second. I was like, oh. And then I remembered this horribleness that everyone must have to go through. Oh, what a waste. Yeah. Okay. So, I've got two more. I think I know who I want to do it with. Seen the Pokemon Spearow? Uh, I'll trade you my bell spot for it. Hell yeah, dude. Take the Spearow. No problems. Let's get started. Uh, name is Spearow. OT is me. For Spearows. Uh... For Nyx Spiro, Fred sends Belly. That is a horrible name for a Bellsprout. Look at this loser. Alright. Oh, we can <laughs> switch to a Spiro. Hey, man. Remember that time I fused you? Uh, okay. So we got two Splicers left. Let's do... I'm going to start with... Oh, I got so many choices here. Alright, we're going to do Bellsprout, Mankey... Oh my god. No. This is gonna be horrific. Let's do it. I'm gonna be infused. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's so cursed. Man sprout. <laughs> oh god. No. All right. What's great is that you don't need to... Uh, entry number 29,036, by the way. What's great is you don't need to... Um, you don't need to nickname them because they come with nicknames. When it starts shaking its nasal... Okay, so it's... Oh, wait. It starts shaking its nasal breathing turns rough. It's a sure sign of anger. From its mouth, it leaks a fluid that melts even iron. So it looks like it's... Uh, it just auto-combines. Also, it's a fight poison type? Is Bellsprout normally... Uh... Isn't Bellsprout's main type grass? Interesting. I, I guess I made Crow a gunk for the mo pretty much. Uh, gluttony or Anger Point? I don't know what either of these do. Um, so I'm going to do Anger Point. Learn Scratch, Low Kick. Oh, it just teaches them the other moves, I think. Um, no, I don't care about Focus Energy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I hate it so much. You can't unfuse a Pokemon obtained in a trade. Odd. 
So I get- oh, wait. So, so they're just stuck like that. Alright, man. Alright, uh, next up. Nidoran and, uh, Carlos. Gonna have myself a flying Nido Queen. I wonder what I'm gonna fuse with. Oh. <laughs> That's actually kind of cute. Pidran. Uh, poison bird. I got another fucking poison type. Is there a flying poison type? I, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Has an extremely sharp sense of direction when enraged, it releases a horrible toxic from its horn. Yeah, so it just automatically just combines the two because it doesn't have a horn. Learn sand attack. Uh, I'm gonna go with poison point. I like poison point. You use your last. I know. God, what a fun mechanic. It's so amazing. All right, let's uh, let's look at the squad real quick. Let's decide who's gonna stay out front. Uh, so we got Rex. He's pretty good right now. Uh, <laughs> I guess we're gonna do Pidrin, and then we have Belly. Okay, so it looks like. Whatever the first one you pick seems to be like the base Pokemon. And that seems to be the body, from what I can tell. Okay. I really want to see one of these Pokemon level up. Or, uh, not level up, evolve. I'm very curious. <laughs> it's, it's cursed. I also, I guess they also use the, uh... I guess they use the cry of the, the, the base Pokemon. Um, I guess... No, the base would be the second one they chose, right? Because I chose Pidgey second for this one. I don't actually know how it works. Whatever. Uh, hey man. Bug type Pokemon are my passion. My favorite bug type move is Fury Cutter, of course. Do you know about Fury Cutter? It's a move that increases power and use it multiple times in a row. You use your Pokemon for 200 bucks. Do you want it? No. I'm gonna save all my money. All right, this place looks cool. Oh, okay. I like the, uh, I like what they've done with the place. Looks spooky. Common, unedible mo mushroom can be sold for a small price, okay. I figured. What's going on with this Pokeball? And an antidote. I guess it was just taking up a spot. Yeah, the music is slightly different. It's like a remixed version almost. On the Pokeball. It was as advertised. Weedle. Not my favorite Pokemon, but, uh, you know, I'll take one. I can't, I can't believe I'm a poison type. It's so weird. Why is everything poison? It's funny, I, um, before I was doing this, I was thinking about doing a run of, uh, in, like, Pokemon Red or Heart Gold or something like that. I've only used I'm like using a randomizer and then only using like a specific type. Hairy bug. Ugh. I've never thought of a Weedle as hairy. Um But uh I've always thought about um doing like an all steel or an all poison type one. And I'm accidentally doing an all poison one now, which is funny. Hey, look at my cool bug Pokemon. No, I'm good. No thanks, Ben. Bug catcher Jim. Oh, fuck. Do I have Peck still? Or did I lose it? I lost Peck. Rut row. Peck would have come in handy here. I do think... Oh, uh, I was going to say my physical's pretty good, but I guess not. Alright, well... What are your stats, Pidran? Um... Special attack is bad and defense is good. I guess that's not terrible. Uh, it's not what I would have wanted, though. Uh, okay. I'm gonna switch you in. Yeah, my problem with my, my specialty Pokemon is they don't have stab moves. Um, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I really wonder who I should mix with, uh, Rex. I'm thinking it would make sense to do, like, a water Pokemon, but I don't know what I want to do. Maybe if you can still buy, um... Oh, no! We ran! <laughs> we ran! I'm thinking if, uh... If you can still buy that Magikarp, maybe I'll combine it with a Magikarp and you can turn into a weird Gyarados hybrid. Level 12. What, time, what, uh, what level is Charmander Evolve again? I forget. Also, I know my other Pokemon are getting experienced when I do this, but they, like, can't because they're not strong enough, so... What are you gonna do? 
Uh, I think they use the original bug catcher sprite, which is interesting. I'm not going to bother like searching the grass because um, like I'll, I'll grab the items, but I'm not going to bother like farming in the grass because I'll find that shit eventually. Do I catch the wild kakuna so I don't have to level up uh, Weedle? I mean, maybe. It's also worth a good amount of XP if I remember correctly. I think it only knows Harden too. Yep. I mean, this seems like too good of an opportunity to pass up. As forever it's, as it's gonna take. I also don't want a fucking Kakuna that only knows hard. Get out of here. Alright, 20 turns later, I get a critical hit on the last hit. Thanks, game. 61 experience. Oh boy, oh boy. Learn a new move, please. I... sure. Whatever. Can you also learn Peck again, please? I miss it. And one antidote? That's the second antidote I've found. I wonder if they're really counting on Weedle poisoning me. What's up? Can I get up this up here? No, I can't move that way. Alright. Cool, man. Thanks. Oh, it's Caterpie. We needed a Caterpie. I guess we don't need. Need is a strong word. I don't plan on using one. Oh, my attack is bad. I need to stab move so bad. Please. Please. I'm not a normal type. Alright. Um, let's do this. I don't need to catch the Caterpie, but I want to. Eventually, when I get infinite fusions, maybe I'll I'll fuse every Pokemon I have. Certainly not going to complete the uh, the Pokedex. I can tell you that. Um, uh, hey man, yo, you can't jam out if you're a, a Pokemon trainer. Like, like I can't leave. What do you mean? Wee bat! Oh man, <laughs> oh, this big fucking doofy nose. Oh my god. All right, I don't think I actually have any good moves here. Uh, so I'm just gonna. Politely bow out. Um, and let Rex handle it. I do have to remember to let or to swap in the other Pokemon first. At least until they can learn better moves. Don't you do it! Oh, you son of a bitch. You fucking bastard. Luckily I have all these antidotes. I wonder how uh how poison works in this game. I know they added uh I know they have the um the XP share and like all the upgraded mechanics from Black and White 2. Caterbat. My greatest foe. Maybe I'll uh maybe we'll throw Belly in there. Give him some XP. Oh god, maybe we don't ever let him back out again. Ugh. Fucking monstrosity. Although at least he has stab moves. Oh, except Vine Whip doesn't stab anymore. Oh! Caterbat's so cute! Look at him! Look at the little face! Alright. I mean it'd be a nightmare if I saw it, but still. Uh, what is, oh god, what is, it's, what is Zubat's main type, is it flying? And then I don't think Bug is weak to fighting anyway, so I don't think this is a good idea. Um, hey man. Hey, don't kill Charmander. He's still a pure boy. Music did a sharp turn there, I don't know what happened there. So the cool thing is Rex is over leveled, which is nice. It means I can focus a little bit. But the bad thing is I'm very bad. Oh, you still get boosted XP for trade. That's cool. The bad thing is I'm very bad at uh at raising multiple Pokemon. I need that XP share like yesterday. I think you get the OG XP share fairly early on, but I think you get the um uh, the one that is it for all Pokemon. I don't think you get that until much later. Mushrooms. Doing shrooms. Okay. I like this little remix of it. I like the like upbeatness of it. Does not match this scary ass fucking forest we're in. Yo, give me a Pikachu. Show me a Pikachu, you cowards. Uh I I don't even know if I can beat a fucking level four Weedle. I guess I can. Not gonna work, sir. Unfortunately he can't get poisoned for my um my poison bar, because he's also a poison type. I do find it interesting that uh, poison types can't be poisoned. 
Uh, there's a couple types that can't be poisoned, but I, it's funny because that doesn't really apply to like... Ooh, I missed someone down there. Do I go back? No. Because I want to get to the gym before we get too far. Bug Pokemon are totally great. Let me show you what they can do. Oh, the female bug catcher. Look at that. Caterpie. <laughs> Caterpie. Oh, is it a cross between Caterpie and Pidgey? That also looks really cute. Why does Caterpie just look cute? All right, man. Or <laughs> Caterpie. That's not Pride Month, but you know what? We accept Caterpie for who they are. This is really going to um, test my knowledge of typing, which is sketchy at best. Um, <laughs> I really don't know Pokemon types that well. Big mushrooms are super rare and valuable, but be careful you go hunting after them. They look exactly the same as poison mushrooms. Interesting. I didn't find any. Alright, I'm going to check this area in a second, but I want to heal first. Hey, Amen. Do you know what I'm doing? No. Spraying bell to keep Pokemon off the garden. Here, try it yourself. Thanks, man. I always appreciate a freebie. Oh, slow down. Okay. Did you check out the museum yet? No. Really? You really have to go. The entrance is free, and there's a huge collection of rare fossils from around the world. Thanks, man. I'll get there when I get there. How about that? How about you don't fucking tell me how to live my life? How about that? Oh, there's so many Pokemon in here. I always love how, uh, when they Pokemon out of their balls. I feel like early games didn't do that enough. Upstairs, Pokemon Trade Center. You can get random Pokemon from trainers all around the world. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah, they did add Wonder Trade into this somehow. I wonder how that works. You do it, Rattata. With enough training, we can finally defeat Brock. No, you can't. How about that, Rattata? Try battling Brock so many times, he's just too tough. I keep having to come back here and heal my Pokemon. Meh. Computer City is bigger than Verdean City and Pallet Town. The Pokemon Center is a lot busier. Saw you looking at my Tell you Rogue here. I'll trade it to you for a Mankey. What do you think? Oh, dude, I would. Tyrogue's awesome, but uh, my Mankey is permanently trapped against a, a Bellsprout, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> that is unfortunate. And this Kafka-esque nightmare. The more badges you get, the more Wonder Trades you're allowed to make. Oh. Hello there. Uh, you have to get a Gym Badge before you're allowed to make a Wonder Trade. I wonder if it's random. That'd be cool. Because I, I don't think it connects to the internet. Now I like really want to try it out. Uh, you should always stop by the hotel when you get to a new city. They're always full of pe uh, people seeking help from traveling trainers. Hotel? That's a sh small hotel. I'd say short. Most major cities in Kanto have hotels like this one. They're great to find people to help or simply to rest and make time pass faster. People who have lost things often come to hotels to seek help from traveling Pokemon trainers. They always hang out on the top floor of hotels and they give you rewards for helping them. So don't miss out. I don't know what that means. Hello, ma'am. You're in a maid outfit. That's cool. Uh, 50 for a room. No. Music here is swanky. Hello, you must be new here. In many cities, you'll find hotels just like this one. Local residents gather here where they seek the help of traveling Pokemon trainers to choose yourself. Usually, hand out great rewards to trainers to help them, so you don't want to miss out. Use this journal to keep track of quests. Ooh, side quests in my Pokemon? Uh, rad. Help one more people, and I'll give you something good. Okay, man, I'll do it. I'm a fucking sucker like that. It's weird that these hotel rooms don't have doors. What is a bug catcher? A chef who looks like a monkey and a youngster doing together. Hey, did you help? I lost my revival. I was sitting on a beach earlier and I'm worried sick. I'll never be able to defeat Rock with that. Please help me find it. Yeah, man. Oh, on a bench. Okay. This is cool. I like this. This is a nice little thing to add to Pokemon. Pokemon being like a very basic RPG, you would think they would have more side quests, but they have none. Bug type Pokemon, I figure it. I only want to become a strong trainer using only bugs. Can you please show me fully evolved bug type Pokemon? I'll give you something cool if you do. I don't actually have any of those. Sir, a bug catcher in Pewdie City wants you to show him a fully evolved bug Pokemon. No. Uh, one day. Hi, are you a Pokemon trainer? I want to make some wild mushroom stew, but I'm afraid you're going to reverting first pick them because of wild Pokemon. Would you mind helping me? I'll give you some of your turn. But, uh, sure. Three tiny mushrooms. That's it. I only have poison mushrooms, so you're not getting shit. Alright, well, only one of those is doable, like, immediately, and I kind of feel like they did that on purpose. Um, oh, it's nighttime. There is a day-night cycle, it is not tied to my real-life clock, so if you kept seeing the time when I brought up the menu, it is, I have not been playing for like 24 hours. You're, you're, you're fine, <laughs> I'm fine, my life is in control, I swear. 
When you have a rematch with the trainer, you're allowed to forfeit the match at any given time. Interesting. Different Pokemon come out at nighttime. Uh, I was so surprised that uh, the other night when I saw a Zubat outside of a cave. Ooh. Yeah, this is different too. What the fuck is this? This isn't where the gym is. Oh, it's, it's throwing me off. Like, it's enough, it's similar enough to like, the, is this a sign or a bench? It's a sign. Uh, <laughs> it's throwing me off that, uh, are they gonna let me just go here? What the fuck? Wow, they're like really not trying to hold your hands. Huh, I can appreciate that. All right, he said it was definitely in Pewter City. So I just need to find a bench. This is a bench. Huh? 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 Sir, please move. Sir. <laughs> Thank you. No? Okay. Uh, huh. Well, let's think of typical side quest design. It would be in a bench that was out of the way. I bought this back, or I bought, brought back the special food of my travel. Show me the city's badge, and it's yours. Um, okay. Still not seeing a fucking bench. It is cool that the gym is up in, like, the rocky kind of mountains. That makes more sense. Uh, good things can happen if you raise Pokemon diligently, even the weak ones. Hey, man. Just flopping around. Shady old man got me to buy this weird fish. Totally weak and cost 500 wood scam. Oh, I'm fucking excited, dude. We're gonna get Charmander, Magikarp. Um, I'm so fucking pumped. I hope, uh... Oh, we found it. I hope they don't default, uh to flying type for Gyarados. That'd be annoying. I don't think of Gyarados as a flying type, especially since he, I think the only flying move we can learn is Hurricane. Hey, man. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you're definitely going to beat him, man. Frustration. <laughs> it's a good reward, though. Uh, I don't really use frustration, but still. How do I know that? Oh, we learned Flash. Neat. Huh? If you hear that uh, buzzing, it's not me getting a text message at 1 a.m. Uh, on a Tuesday night. It's, uh... <laughs> I'm autoing in near reincarnation in the background. There's a cool little thing where uh, it'll automatically do 10 quests for you uh, in real time, and then uh, it'll vibrate when it's done. Uh, let's go check the Pokemon. It's weird seeing a day and night cycle in, uh, in Red's landscape, I guess. All right, uh, I can catch you, probably. I think I want to try and get Charmander up to level, um, uh, to level, my brain's not functioning. Um, uh, level 13. I think he still learns Metal Claw at 13. Um, That'd be neat, because then I could just breeze through uh, Brock's gym, but we'll see. I haven't bought more Pokeballs either. I might need to restock. I'm pretty much waiting on uh, the money from Brock's gym. I really don't have that much money. The bug catching, the, believe it or not, the children inside the Viridian Forest didn't have a lot of money for me. Uh, also, I'm an idiot. Uh, Zubat is poison flying. It's not that rare of a type. For some reason, I didn't think he was poison type. I don't know why. Uh, all right. No more faffing about. Let's uh, let's make sure Rex gets his uh his training in. I'm gonna be stuck here forever. I don't really know how long this is gonna go. I might just like cut it at a certain point, and then just like start part two. Who, dude? I love you. You're so cute. I'm getting tired of these fucking flying and poison types, though. Give me something different, please. I'm gonna kill him. What am I, what's wrong with me? Oh. Who, who's got some uh some backbone? I see. Uh, yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to record, so we'll see. Maybe this will be a series, maybe it'll be a one-off, I genuinely don't know. I'm having fun, though, which uh, is always a good sign if you want to see more videos, is whether I'm enjoying it or not. Level 2 Pokemon this late in the game? Fuck you, game. How am I supposed to get stronger if you throw a level 2 Pokemon at me? Uh, you know what I'll do? Let's, uh, let's heal real quick. But then I think I'm gonna go... 
I'm gonna see if I can go take on any of the trainers in the other area. Um, like, I wanna go see if I can take, uh, uh, go fight the trainers to the right, and then see if, uh, maybe I can get all the way to that Pokemon Center, and then I can buy that Magikarp and fuse it with, uh, the Chamanda. Quit staring if you don't want to fight. I mean, I wasn't. Bum, bam, bam. Meowdle. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. Oh my god, it looks like he has a little, like, binky, like, uh, like from Beelzebub. Also, they are higher level than I was ready for. I forgot what level they were here. I need to be a lot more careful. Even with type advantage, I'm still struggling here. Oh, I don't have type advantage. Um, what's Meowth's typing? That ember isn't working here. Does it just not tell me if it's super effective? Okay, we got level 12. That's not nothing. Um, what do we got here? Oh, uh, Nidoran. I have one of you, unfortunately. Uh, Ember? Again? Ember McLean, please. I always... Ah, this is always so weird to me in Pokemon. I always, like... They always make it so difficult to use new Pokemon because, like, you'll be in an area and trainers will be, like, level 10. Or, like, level 12. And the wild Pokemon will be, like, five or six levels lower. I've never understood why they do it that way. <laughs> I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Joey, is this you? Oh, no. Joey's got the Rattata. What am I talking about? Oh, God. That's cursed. Pidata. Could have been. I almost had a Pidata. I almost mixed them together, but then I was like, I don't want to fucking eradicate. I don't want a Rattata. They're useless. Nice. Very good critical. I lost my comfy feeling. I'm sorry, man. I think there's pills for that. Void fights, but not letting people see you. Uh, fun fact, you can also avoid conversations that way. Would recommend it. <laughs> Polly hoots. <laughs> Alright, man. Uh, I might be in trouble here. If he has the type of advantage I think he does. Yeah, my attack is not very good. Luckily, they don't seem to want to use a water move. Does this work? Sure doesn't. Oh, don't kill. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, I'm in trouble. I'm shit of luck here. I don't know revive, so... Gonna do our fucking best, I guess. Uh, I think tackle is more damage. Oh, my God. And it knows hypnosis, dude. Fuck off. Uh, let's do ta tail whip. Not good. I don't normally use uh, stat moves. I usually don't have to. I keep thinking the bubble's about to miss because it takes like a second before uh, it registers. Okay, I'll heal after this. I think I should be able to kill here. I was not expecting a water Pokemon here. A one potion, nice. Can you tell how unprepared I am for this? How I was fully expecting to just like steamroll these, these guys? Whoopsie. Oh, you know what? I could have switched to Belly. Belly at least has a... Um, a grass move. Oh, <laughs> it got poison pointed. Nice. And poison killed! Hell yeah, dude. Fucking get wrecked by this poison bird. Wow, its attack is really going up. I'm trying to learn double kick. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, you're not that kind, but... I fucking knew Scratch was worthless. That's interesting. It said that... I think that... I thought it said that they boosted uh, Tackle's attack power for this, but apparently they didn't. I'm gonna sand attack. Oh, it wants to learn Gust? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, it's so fun to learn two moves at once. Finally, a stab move. Jesus Christ. I don't remember what level... Um, uh... Rattata evolves at? I'm not Rattata, sorry. I don't know what level uh, Nidoran or Pidgey evolve at, but I feel like they should uh, evolve soon. I forget how they calculate it. 
Um, so I don't know what to... Maybe they'll evolve twice. Like maybe the Pidgey half will evolve into Pidgeotto and the other the other half will evolve into Nidor uh, Nidor Nidorina. Because um, I wondered how evolution works when they're fused. Bum, 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 bum. You fucking moron with a Metapod. What the fuck do you think you're doing in my dojo? Alright, well. Maybe I should send another Pokemon to do the finishing blow here. I feel like... Oh, you know what I didn't think about until just now? That grass is effective against a rock. So maybe I should be using Belly more. I just... I, it's just a horrific... Horrific sprite that I just don't want to use it at all. Oh, no. Not Catter. It's so fucking cute again, dude. <laughs> Look at it. Just a little little uh, bug snake poggin. It's so great. Uh, it is a delight to see every single Caterpie uh, um, sprite here. This is definitely a custom like this is one that someone like designed because it's so cute. Like the details on the side and stuff like that. It's so good. Shame we had to kill it, but that is cute as fuck, dude. Learn Metal Claw. Damn it. Metal Claw. <laughs> what is he using? Weans? <laughs> Not as cute. Not as cute at all. In fact, I hate it. <laughs> Weans! Well, the bad news is it looks like I'm not going to learn metal, metal Claw like I was hoping. My guess is that Metal Claw may not exist for a Charmander. I don't know. They might have removed that at some point. I thought he could learn Dragon Rage too, though. I'm now worried about, uh, we got Pekka Berry. Why is it a Pokeball? Uh, I am now a little bit worried about using, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, fusing Charmander with, uh, with the Magikarp, because Magikarp, I think, starts at a very low level, so it's going to drag his level back down if I do it. So you got to be careful. I might have to level up the, ma the Cataras. This, see, this one's not cute. It just looks like a very sick Paris. Or a Paris that got attacked by uh, by the Joker with his, with his Joker toxin. Okay. Learn a new move. You little bastard. Alright. Uh, okay. I wonder if double battles are in this game. Last Janus. A fucking basic ass Spiro. I really should be training one. Ooh, I always forget that uh, that Ember can uh, can burn. But I was thinking about that. Uh, like, so there's Pokemon that are immune to poison, but there's no Pokemon that are immune to like uh, paralysis, burn, frozen, anything like that. Like. There are abilities that can make you immune to those, but they're not, like, types. Oh! Oh, it's so cute! Pikaren! I've only done Pikaren for two days. If anything were to happen to them, I'd kill every one of my viewers, then myself. Uh, alright, Pikaren. That is so fucking cute. Um... Let's try Belly. Let's see if we can uh, finish him off with Belly. Belly has boosted XP. This should be easier. I just thought, oh God, every time I see it, I'm just like, why is God forsaken us? Uh, let's go back. Although, every time I look at Pikaran, I'm like, this is a cute ass fucking Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Nice. I'm gonna learn growth. Ew. Oh, level up twice. Nice. Yeah, I should train Belly and uh, the other one up, but I don't want to. Uh, I see a Pokeball. Paralyze heal. That is not how it's spelled. 
Um, catching Pokemon, I just can't get enough. Know what you mean? I haven't caught a Pokemon in like half an hour, but definitely know what you mean. I'm starting to get uh, roughed up a little bit. Part of me is like, there's a Pokemon Center up ahead. The other part of me is like, I don't have any potions. I could use the berries I have, but I kind of want to keep them for an emergency. And I don't know if this counts as the emergency yet. I will change. Thank you for asking. I'm trying not to get Rex fucking murked. Spear pee. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's very cursed, in fact. Oh, not a fan. It's always fun when they use Growl, and I'm like, fucking special attack, bitch. I don't know how I ever dealt with the special split. Uh, like, I've played Fire Red a lot, and like, it blows my mind that the physical special split hadn't happened yet. That doesn't happen till Gen, um... Uh, till Gen... What's Furious Wipes again? What type of move is it? Normal? Ugh. Um, until Gen 4. Speardle. I'm not gonna like this. Mary Tell. Weedle is cursed with everything it combines with. He says. With the ultimate cursed Pokemon. I mean, I guess that's not worse than the last one. So they've got that going for him. I hate having use a goddamn keyboard. How do people do this? My hand's cramping. Oh, is it not a? Uh, is it not super effective anymore? I wonder why that is. Oh, you know what? It's probably became flying poison. That's why they probably dropped the uh, the bug part. If I had to wager, I guess. I think you can find Jigglypuff here, right? Aw, oh, Meowth though, I'll take that. Will I though? I don't really think Meowth's that good. Um, it's just normal types which start in general aren't very good. In my humble opinion. Feel free to yell at me in the comments. I just don't think normal types are that interesting. With the exception of like Snorlax and like Licky Licky, who can become monstrous, and, and Chansey if you want to be an asshole. If you run a Chansey, you're an asshole. Er, if you run Chansey or Blissey, you're an asshole. There's no getting around it. That look he gave me, it's so intriguing. Again, I was looking straight ahead, miss. Can you fucking relax, please? Pika Puff. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking cute. <laughs> I can't handle it. I hope I can find the sprites for these. I hope they're in the game files, because then I can make a... Uh some dope fucking thumbnails. Oh, you bitch. Alright. Risky strats. Hey, do a move that's not gonna kill me. Thank you, I appreciate you. Um, alright. Uh, I have to go back to Rex, unfortunately. Because, uh, if I split it, the... If I split the the XP anymore, it'll be kind of worthless. Alright. Make it through. I believe in you. Hell yeah, dude. Prowse is nothing. I don't know. Should I use the Paralysis Heal or or Simberry? I think a Pekka Berry carries Paralysis, doesn't it? Or Chesto? I think Chesto is the one, actually. Where is... There it is. Okay. Hello, welcome to Pokemon Center Restore. Thank you. Oh, there's no second floor here. That's weird. I wonder if they're only in like the bigger cities. It was better with special moves, so I'm using it as the head of my fusion. My Pokemon is better with special moves. What was a physical attacker, so I'm gonna fuse it as the body. I don't know what that means. How do you know which is which? Hello there, if I got a deal for you, I'll let you have this rare magic here for just 500. Hell yeah, dude. Not even a question. Uh, no. Uh, alright. 
Uh, deposit. I do not need you anymore, Weedle. I'm sorry. Uh, or Caterpie, for that matter. Shield Dust? What fucking ability is Shield Dust? I've never even heard of that ability. Level fucking five. Oof. If I've used it with, uh... Uh, with Rex right now, I think it'll make him level, uh, ten. Which I'm not really excited about. Um... Uh, let me... Do this. Let's keep him up front. We'll fight some Pokemon. We'll uh, we'll level him up good and good and ready. Head stats. Oh, oh, that's how they do this. Okay. So body does the physical stats. Head does the mental and HP. I guess. Okay. I guess that's worth noting. Uh, I don't have Rock Smash yet, so I can't do anything here. Uh, they're gonna make block the cave, which makes sense. Uh, Spiro. Maybe the- oh my god, Magikarp looks so big. Maybe this isn't the ideal way to do this, because, uh... The Pokemon are so low level. I'm worried that the XP they give isn't gonna be worth it. Um... But I mean, it couldn't hurt. I want to know what Cursed Magikarp looks like. Oh, Cleffa in the wild? Interesting. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, do I just rip this band-aid off and do it? I think I do, right? I think I, uh... I think I just fuse them and just deal with the consequences. I I don't know what else to do. Uh, you're fairy type, right? Fighting doesn't work on fairy, but flying should. Don't kill. Okay. Oh, great. Well, sure. Don't want to do that anyway. Oh, no. No, don't die. Okay. One shot. Here we go. Cleffa, if you don't want to die, get in the Pokeball. I respect it. Going out the way they want. <laughs> you had an option, Cleffa. I gave you an out. <laughs> it's super fucking dark that the that the line of text just says, Cleffa's encore has ended. Jesus, game. Oh, it's gonna auto-save. Okay, all right, let's get back to town. I'm just gonna do it. Band-aid ripped off. We're gonna mix uh, Magikarp with uh, with Charmander. I don't want to do it. I really don't. Um, oh, I sh I feel like I'm close to the XP share. Let me let me find out where the XP share is, and if it makes more sense, I'll just do that. Um, let's see. XP share is in Cerulean City's Pokemon Center from a girl in a lab coat. XP all from an NPC in a gate between Fuchsia and Route 15. Oh, Cerulean's kind of far away still. I'll do it if I fail to beat Brock. I'll do it. Um, how about that? Because I'm a little bit worried as we are now. Um, I guess I'm good, right? Um, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to level up Magikarp in the meantime. Where did I get a fucking Rattata from? Oh, I guess he's just been there the whole time just chilling. I just didn't pay attention to him. Alright. Uh, just go, I guess. Let me get my shit handed to me. Hi, I can tell you what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. Rock is a rock type Pokemon you'll... Uh, it'll be real tough to gain the advantage against him. Take this. Thanks, man. You didn't call me champ in the making, though, which is what makes me feel the best about myself. Alright, we're not going to train Magikarp over here, because I don't want to die. Um, do you think you'd be able to sneak past me? I mean, I could have, but I chose to fight you. Georan. 
That's so cursed. All right, man. I think fighting works against uh, these types too, right? Oh, because po er, yeah, it's poison type, so I don't think uh, grass is gonna work. Low kick works though. Works well enough anyway. Oh, brother, why? Oh. So that's what anger does? I gotta look at that again. What do you want to move? I didn't even check. Rap? No. I don't I don't know what you're gonna try and do to rap, but I don't appreciate it. No. Yes. Um here we go. You're light years away from Brock. I like some of this dialogue that I definitely do recognize. Camper Liam, you look too old. <laughs> he looks so happy. He, or he looks so proud, I should say. Ignored orders, sir? I guess you're a traded Pokemon, right? Until I get the first badge, you're gonna be kind of a dickhead. Sand dude. Uh, I guess. What is? I don't know what this typing is. <laughs> he looks like uh, the Sway Swayzos from Monster Rancher. All right, man. You motherfucker! Don't you go slacking on me. The Pokemon, not the term. Why do you know Poison Sting? Who did you learn this from? So what does Anger Point do? I'm very curious about this now, because maxing its attack is huge. <laughs> Fucking Fred. Uh, Max's attack after taking a critical hit. Am I just getting critical hit a lot? Like, what's happening here? I feel like they didn't get criticals, and I got... I have to deal with this anyway. You mother... Listen to me, you little bitch. Like... Oh my god, dude. I would ignore orders and just uh, move I assigned to use anyway. What a fucking monster. I don't know when, um... I don't know when he evolves to, uh... To Weeping Mill. Because I know Mankey doesn't evolve until, like, level like 30 or something like that. Alright. Let's rip this bandit off. I, uh... I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat Brock. I'm not that confident. I didn't buy any more potions because I'm just that brave. I'm kidding. I'm going to buy a potion. Um, uh, let's buy... Let's buy a couple of these. And then while we're at it, let's buy a DNA splicer. And then I can't afford a Pokemon. Or I, I can't afford Pokeballs, but it's pointless if I don't buy 10 at once. Rock Gym, Nest Ball. Uh, Nest Ball might be good, but I'm going to wait until I, uh, I beat Brock and he gives me some big boy money. Hey, it's daytime again. I still haven't gone to the museum. I feel like I should, right? Let's do that first. Maybe there's a freebie in the museum that'll be like a fucking game changer or something. All split here, where Pokemon lives, Hunter lives, uh, uh yep. Aerodactyl. That's, that's, it's an extinct Pokemon, alright. Lady, what do you have to say to me? Nothing? It's free! Oh shit. It's a Dragonite, which is kind of. Dude, their internal structure of the DNA of rock type Pokemon remains completely preserved, even after millions of years of fossilization. That's not a rock type, though. Thus, these Pokemon can be genetically cloned to living creatures of feet that would be impossible to achieve with prehistoric Pokemon of other types. But that's not a rock type! <laughs> for false Pokemon live during different times. For example, Almanite and both lived in Canada for a long time, but they lived millions of years apart from each other. That's interesting. Hello, young trainer. I'll teach the move Mud Slap to one of your Pokemon for free. You can answer this question or er, answer this quiz about Pokemon fossils. What do you think? Sure. Which fossil can be revived in the Pokemon Kabuto? Oh, man. I'll tell you what. Not the Helix Fossil, because that's our Lord and Savior, uh, Omastar. So, we're gonna go with Dome. Uh, what is the only fossil Pokemon that cannot evolve? That would be... 
Um, oh, is Anna in this game? That's cool. Uh, that would be... Cubon's not a false Pokemon. Aerodactyl. Except Mega Evolving. Which of these Pokemon can be regenerated from the Jaw Fossil? I actually don't know this. I think it's Tyrant. Because Tyrant is a... It's a T-Rex. So that would make sense. It's not Anorith. It's not Aerodactyl. It might be Craniodos. But I feel like Craniodos is like... A, they focus more on his head. Alright. Cool. Uh, I don't know who I want to teach Mudslap to. Because none of them know... Uh, none of them need to know it. So... I guess, right? Which just can't hurt. Get rid of Growl. I don't know enough about ground type <laughs> to know how effective that can be. That is cool, though. I like when they throw random shit in there like that. Whole reason I came in here. Ooh, what's over here? We're not just a museum. We also do lots of research in Pokemon fossils. We have a machine that can revive prehistoric Pokemon fossil. I don't have any fossils, though. So I'm SOL. Alright, that was neat. Maybe that'll be like the the saving uh saving grace. Like that'll be the the Hail Mary I need. I'm I'm Brock. I'm Peter's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. You may not have known this, but I'm also the voice of Seto Kaiba. That's a true fact. I didn't make that up. Same dude voices Brock voices Seto Kaiba. You want to challenge me? Fine then. Gym battles. I think he voices James too. Uh, in gym battle, you're only allowed. That can't be true. I might have been that up. You're only allowed to use as many Pokemon as the gym leader. Oh, what? Excuse me? So, this is your first gym uh, badge. I'll be using two Pokemon. Please choose a Pokemon. What? Alright. I believe. Uh, that's a cool mechanic. I like that. I got the OG Brock Sprite, too. Not OG, I guess Fire Red. GOG. <laughs> just looks so stupid. Uh, so my guess is Flying Rock, so fighting's not gonna work. Uh, so Vine Whip? Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, that didn't work either. Oh, you crit, hit, you crit me, which is your biggest mistake. I think Low Kick should still do some damage. Yeah, just maybe. Okay. Send in Diginix or Dignix. That almost sounds racist, and I don't want to. I don't want to say that a lot. <laughs> so that'd be Rock and Ground. <laughs> oh, it's so cursed. Oh, I hate it. But I love it. <laughs> oh, this game's amazing. All right. Hey, how does uh how does ground work against uh, rock types? Oh. You guys remember that time when I said what if this was like the secret uh, the secret like way to beat him? I figured it out it is. Also, riddle me this. Why do we have bind and wrap? It's bullshit. We don't need both of this. Ah, use dig. I'm so fucked. How do I... Is it not going to let me escape because I just did... Because I can't uh, when I'm bound? Oh, I just have to take this, huh? Okay. Uh, smoke screen. Oh, I can't believe I didn't die. What a, what a wombo combo. Alright, let's slap again. Here we go. <laughs> I can't get over Dick Mix. It just. What an incredible Pokemon. Took you for granted. I get that a lot. Prove you a victory. Here's the Boulder Badge. I obtained the Boulder Badge. I also want to give you this Rock Tomb. Nice. I'm so used to playing randomizers that, uh,. It's usually a different... Oh, look at that. They both congratulated me. That's cute. That's a nice touch, too. This is why Pokemon ROM hacks are so much better. They're just better games. Uh, Alright, what was I... Someone told me to come back after I won a badge. 
Oh, Wonder Trade. Let's do that. Um, also, you motherfucker, get out of the way of the Pokemon Mart. They should have added some items to the Pokemon Mart, I think. DNA Reverser. That reverses the DNA of a fused Pokemon to create the inverse fusion. Wow, so you can buy that really early. Um, I don't know what the benefits... I don't know enough about this to really mess with that. Also, I can suddenly buy all these, uh, these healing things. That's cool. I wonder if you expanded. No, you seem to be the local shop. Okay. Let's try, uh, Wonder Trading, and I guess we'll wrap this up. I think I might just make it one long video. I don't, uh... That's not the best way to do it for views, but my plan is to kind of just upload this, like, immediately. And, uh... We'll see how it, uh, how it performs. I had fun. You're allowed to make one Wonder Trade before you get a new badge. Would you like to make a Wonder Trade? Yes. Goodbye, Rattata. Alright, what are you getting? This, this can't... There's no way it's connected to the internet. This has to be... <laughs> Melissa sends Facebook? Okay. <laughs> oh no. Is that a Cradilly combined with a Pinaco? Oh. Uh. Alright. <laughs> okay, I guess. Um. <laughs> what level are you? Fucking three, of course you are. Well... <laughs> <laughs> it's bug and grass type. Uh, defense up, special attack down. Mm. Negates all moves that force switching out. A stone. I, sh I don't want to use this Pokemon. <laughs> I. <laughs> Gross. Although if I wanted to, I could. Uh, I could. Uh, de or no, I don't think I can defuse them because they're traded. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna get rid of you. I don't want to look at you. Uh, that so that was not a custom sprite because it, you could tell where they just kind of like slapped the two parts of them together. Uh, un unlike Dignix, which was very clear. I can't. I hate saying that. It, it feels like I'm about to say a racial slur every time I say it. Um, unlike them, who was definitely custom. All right. Well, I guess that's uh. Let's uh. Let's go over here. Up. Oh. Fuck, they caught me. It's the coppers. It's me, Professor X Assistant. I was doing some field work around here and I came across something incredible. You really gotta see this. What are you gonna do to me? It seems like there's an outbreak of wild Pokemon with hidden abilities in this route. I've never really messed with hidden abilities. Uh, I saw one of them in this very patch of grass. You can tell when a route has a hidden ability outbreak by the way the wild Pokemon sparkle in battles. Very rare event. We're lucky to be witnessing so close to home, but I don't expect it to last for a very long time. So either you try to catch one of these rare Pokemon while you still have the chance. Well, I'm headed to Ruin City for field work, so I better go. It's on the right side of the mountain. Yeah, there go. I don't know enough about hidden abilities to really take advantage of this. I think there are abilities that Pokemon can learn under special circumstances. I just don't know about those circumstances. Um, maybe this won't kill. No. no. So much for Igly buff. Uh, yeah, I'll learn Sleep Powder. Get rid of a uh, Leer for that. Karate Chop? Is Karate Chop better than Low Kick? Powerful Low Kick that makes the foe fall over. It inflicts greater damage on heavier foes. This one just does stone. I mean, I can get rid of Scratch. I don't need Scratch. Um, you know what I'm gonna do to end this video? I will fucking fuse Charmander and Magikarp. Let's, uh, let's do that now, actually. Because then I can, um... I was gonna say, I can test how Charmander evolves while under the influence of Magikarp. I just, oh god, I don't want to use a level fucking 5 Pokemon. Oh, I guess they're gonna be level 10. I, didn't, oh, I don't want to do this. Um... Hmm. I need to get that XP share before I do it. How about that? I don't even care if Magikarp is actually like... It's not that I care that it's a Magikarp, I care that it's going to bring it back down to level like 10. That's way more of a punishment, it feels like. Um, I do want to see it though. Uh, let's... Here you go. Before we, before we end, 
I'll uh, I'll give you a treat. How about that? We'll we'll combine Magikarp, and then if I don't like the the results, I'll get rid of it. I wonder if they made a custom sprite for this one. I did buy one, right? All right there it is. I also could have sold those poison mushrooms. Uh, fuse with. Here we go. I already don't like how this looks. I think it's a custom sprite. Uh, so that makes the body. So what happens if I do it the reverse? Okay. So the Pokemon you pick first will be the body. So let's look at my Pokemon first. Well, first of all, let's just do it and then I'll try and cancel it. Uh, so we'll look at this version first. <laughs> There's there's Charcarp. That's actually a cool sprite. Uh, all right, I'm gonna X right out of that. Again, say hello to our Lord and Savior, Pit of Jesus. Or I guess Jesus Pit Pit of is what it would be. I guess it depends on who fuses first. Am I right? Please tell me it's three electrode heads. <laughs> That's so much worse. All right. What is this? What, who? What's the point of this one? But why? <laughs> Who asked for that? I see. I just. I want to see these all day. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Okay. Here we go again. Nope. Almost hit it again. Alright, I'm almost more afraid of this one. <laughs> A ma Magamander? Or Magamander? That's... That's very cursed. Oh god, it's eyes. <laughs> Oh, there's no good answers here. All right. I'm going to X out of that for now. Uh, I'm not going to fuse them just yet. I got to get Magikarp up higher level. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I don't know. Let's just open this back up so we have this in the background. Hopefully this isn't fuck with my capture, by the way. Um, hopefully you guys like this. I uh, I can see a world where I do more of them because I'm having fun just playing Pokemon, but also with this new mechanics. God, what is it? <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Uh, it looks like a Neopet, though. Uh, I, I honestly could just stare at this all day. Uh, oh, that's so cool. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more. I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, if you want to see more of these... Uh, and you know, I'll, I'll try and upload this tonight. I have tomorrow off so I can. Oh, it's like a little sleepy Scyther. It's like a beast Scyther. <laughs> oh, what, what are we gonna do here? Uh, I love it though. It looks like uh, one of those machines from Dragon Quest. I literally have to. I have to stop recording because I'm just gonna watch this the whole time. Uh, that one didn't seem custom. That seemed like. Oh, but I want to see this one. Is this custom? Oh. Kinda don't, it looks like a biblical angel. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you later. One last one. Big buff seeking, there we go.